Right, here we are in the high res with the vulture. I've got four things that I think you should practice with the um, with the vulture. I'm going to try and show you on some rocks if I can find the right one first. Um, the first one is the boost thrust. So it's, it's quite 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 straightforward. You put say your side thrust say that rocks the ship put your side thruster on keep pointing at it use your your yaw to um keep there and you can when you boost you go round it so you can get to the ship from a different angle so it's, it's quite easy on a rock but um the ship's always traversing and often they'll um they're always moving away from you so it, you know when you boost to the side and go around in a circle like this, you know, it, it actually it end up behind you. So um, that's uh, you've got to use it at the right time. You know, when the ship's still and he looks like he's going to just like tilt and point at you, you know, you can sort of boost round, get round his side. He'll try and follow you, but he, he, if it's a big slow ship, he can't yaw as fast as what you you can when you're boosting like that. So um, that that's the idea. You can do it downwards as well, so you can get behind him like this. You know, change your angle much more quickly. So just keep your thruster on all the time, downside, whatever it is, and boost whenever you can. So that that's the first one. So the ne next one is the flight assist off strafe. So um, the, your setup, first of all, I, I prefer to have my flight assist set to um, hold in the settings there's two settings hold or toggle what toggle does each time you press the button it goes on and then off and i prefer it just to be on while i'm holding the button and i've got an x52 um, flight set here and i've got it on the pinky trigger but if you've got a flight stick any button towards the bottom of the stick you know you can use with your your lower fingers that you can hold while you're while you're working your trigger with your um your other one So, if that rock were to ship, you know, I could be sort of flying past it. Don't get a bit of speed. But I take my flight assist off, and now I can shoot the rock as I as I drift past it. So I'm getting it from different angles. Now from behind. Not very good at controlling it it's, it's much easier in battle when you're doing it because every, everything happens much smoother but you get you get the idea and where it works really well is when the ships they come towards you and go over your head so as they're coming towards you go into reverse flick the flight assist off and and just tilt back and you'll keep them in their sights i'm gonna shout out when that's happening Right, so we're back in the high resource extraction site again. Uh, let's see what sort of spawn we've got. It's a, a miner. Um, things we want to... I'm not going to keep shouting out throttle in the blue zone and do your pips and things like that. You need to concentrate on doing that for, your, for yourself less than from the previous um, time in the... Uh, Diamondback Scout. So you need to keep practicing that all the time. There's a ship uh, scanning us. So it's a vulture. They're pretty tough on a one on one. It's a master, so should have a chance there. The police have started, started off. So what's he got? A python. So uh, with the help of the police, uh, managed that okay. Now, what you want to concentrate on in this one is uh keeping behind it using thrusters we we'll just bumped we want to get get behind it and you need to be close all the time so you've got to use your throttle a lot so what i'm going to do when i'm using the thrusters i'm going to shout out something you know other than just my throttle
so Vulture's quite quick. Watch his wake and you can see what see he's trying to reverse. Now I'm going to boost and hold the down thrust a bit. And that will take me, sort of, keep me doing what he's doing. I'm holding the down thrust and boosting whenever I can. He's starting to get me. Right, when he gets in front of you, get on the side, use your down thrust the other way, chaff. Here he comes again. So get on his side. He'll always rotate towards you. So I'm still chaffing, I hope. How long has he got? 43%. So I haven't lost much of my shields. So boost past him if he keeps doing that. And then pull your up thruster while you're in the blue zone and you should get him in your sights again. A slow ship like a Python. That'll work for. So a bit down thrust now, a little bit of up thrust while I turn. It's mainly down and up. Side thrusts, not, not so useful. It is in other circumstances, but not for what we're doing here. So even with the help from the police, you can see this is quite tough. There, there is a, a quick way. I'm going to show you something else next next one. I will, so I'm going to boost. Go past him. So I then get in his line of fire. So I boost again. Not in the blue zone. Where's he going? He keeps going behind me. So what, what you can do is, is reverse, but uh, you always end up face to face. There you go. So with small ships, reversing is very good because you can face tank them. So what's this one? A diamond back. So this, could this be a mixed spawn, I think? That'd be good. Yeah. So he's only a master, so let's we'll see what he does. Go fly past him. Boost round with a throttle in the blue zone. Back again, chaff. It's chaffing too. So I reversed that time to get him in front of me. I'm still chaffing, so I'm protected by the chaff. That'll go for a bit. So, again, you need help from the police. The only time like, you can uh, beat them on a one-on-one, -on -one, equal sort of ships, is um, when they're a lower rank. Uh, that Diamondback, we could have beaten it on its own, but anything bigger than that, um, don't tack tackle like that vulture, would be quite tough without help from the police. But... What, what your aim is, practice your combat. You need to get these thrusters right and your pips and your throttle. And um, once you've got the, the hang of that, uh, you could go and do some engineering. So once the police are involved, should be okay with a vulture. He'll, he'll attack from time to time. He's got um, chaff, just wait. You can never get behind them at first. They always, turn, as you get within range, they always, seem to turn towards you, as you're, as you're going to find out. Seems to be programmed into them. Here he comes. No. So just using the, the throttle and the blues and then watch the Here he comes. You get that a lot. It might have been, uh, I've got a couple of pips in the shield, so that, that did protect me a bit. Yeah, you can see that on this rock here, if I boost with the down thruster on. Oops, had a bit of side thrust there. You can see that. It just sort of accelerates you around it. This is the technique I use. Oh, hang on, let's get me... Um, sorry, I didn't have my four pips. See how quickly you can get around it, just by rotating. That's how I find the entrance to the stations. Especially the outposts, when you can't see where the landing pad is. And it, it works to an extent with a side thrust.
but I always find down thrust easier to use because what ha what happens is they're they're programmed so that the moment you rotate, they rotate with you. So you could never sort of get 90 degrees to them f from the front. So I'm using my down thrust now just to get behind it. There we go. Follow him. Down thrust now. And I'm going to boost them down thrust now. Another one bites the dust. Seems about. There was an anaconda there just now. The anaconda. Uh, don't forget, you've got to check whether they've got um, a fighter. Look what's happening. Is it a heat sink? I didn't see a fighter there, so we're, we're okay. Can't suck it in yet. There we go. So I'm down thrusting now. Boost side thrust now. Keeps keeping behind him. Nice bounty there. So you got the idea. Should be able to take this one. See, it's going to boil me up. So, boosted down thrust. Oh, what's happened? The sticks come undone. That's it. That's an L. I've got X52 and the lead keeps coming out. It's put me at a big disadvantage now. So, I'll chaff. So, the police have joined in anyway, because he's shot me. Yeah, these X-52s, you know, you've got the lead that runs between them. And if I pull it, pull back too far sometimes, it tilts up. And pulls the lead out. I can't steer. I got blown up last time because of that. A shot, or was it Anaconda? Uh, they're all coming. You used to be able to, in a vulture, take an anaconda is dangerous. With these pulse lasers, it's been quite a long battle. I'm just wondering if the police would come when he shoots me. So it's dangerous. It's not the highest rank. Oh, we need to check whether he's got a fighter. So he's got no fighter. Weapons, pulse lasers, multi cannons, burst laser, beam laser. So, if we're lucky, oh, he's fighting now. So, please have come. Right, what you want to do with a big ship like an anaconda? This works for anaconda, gunship, drop ship, um, not so much a assault ship, it, but um, what you want to do is target their power plant. The big slow ships, it works well, where you can get sideways onto them. Where's he gone there? Oh, there he is. So, you'll see see how this works. So I've got my shields back, so four pips. There he goes, pointing towards it every time. Right. I'm using a down thrust now to get behind him. Just shoot him. And you'll see there's a little square on the target now where my lasers are landing. That's his power plant. I, I'm not doing any damage yet. Now I am, because he's got um, his shields. Once his shields are gone, those lasers are punching into his power plant, taking it down. If you look, it's 69% now on the left-hand side. 
you've got to get sideways on like this to to be effective he's going to try and get me now on his side boost with the um, down thruster he's boosted away so i'm boosting past him hopefully i can boost more than him he's got chaff now so i'm back i can shoot him on his side His power plant's at 8%. If I can just get a few good shots at it, he'll blow up. It's Chaffee now, so a good boost. There we go. And you see, he's at 43% hull. He's going to blow up any minute now, any second. Oh, it's chaffed. He's boiling now. As soon as that chaff stops, here, here he goes. So he's still with 34% to go. So what's that one there? So your shields hold out quite a bit, so um, you know you don't have to chaff all the time. Don't be scared of taking incoming fire, as long as your shields aren't going down too fast. These other two wingmates are still going. So I'm going to chaff now. And I'm, I'm reversing. So I'm protected by the chaff. He had um, gimbaled weapons. Some of them, they're, they're programmed to like come after you. So reversing is a when they're like um, smaller ships than you. You don't you don't want to do that too much against uh, a big ship. And also, like it seems that hitting ships from the front doesn't do them so much damage. There's an assault ship now, so we're going to use the same thing. Is it a winger two? But I'm going to do, use the same thing. Target his power plant now. They seem to get wise to it, and um, they don't give you the sideways on shot that you need. They used to, they used to, it used to be dead easy to take them out by getting their power plant. So, just a bit of down thrust to get behind him. So, here we go. No, he's chaffing. It's, it's always harder when they're chaffing. See how I'm twisting at full speed and he's matching me. Because they, they can read your controls. They don't have to see, wait to see what you're doing. So against the real commander, that will work, but not uh, against one of these. I need to chaff again this time. See what I mean about not being able to get... Oh, there's a stick come out again. Yeah, you... you I didn't mention it, but you need your throttle set to um, to full range, you know, so you go backwards when you pull it back, unless you're using the keyboard and you've got your own way of doing it. The Vulture's quite a good ship for point and squirt. Um, if you want to carry on with combat, the next one, a good one, is the Fair de Lance. That's a bit more powerful, it's like a vulture on steroids, but it's 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 more tricky to handle. Let's try this one. The police are probably gonna leave me to him, but we'll see how we get on. Should get a good battle off him. No, he's chaffing on his side. Chaff. Let's see if I can stay close while I'm chaffing. So I'm boost after it. Down thrust. Where's he gone? Yeah. So I can tank him. So 
So I'm just going to go backwards so I'm pretty sure to get points at him. They, they try to get boost over your head, but if you just back up all the time and pitch up, they can't get you. So I lost a bit of shields, but, um, you know, it'll soon recover. That's the advantage of these bi-weave shield, shields. So if you've got the A-grade shields, um, they take ages to recover. But these bi-weave ones will probably be back up, back up before I get to that next fight. Let's see if I can rescue somebody. I've just got no hips and engines. When, when I'm trying to explain what to do, it's very difficult to think about ev everything all at once. And when I don't do my pips and stuff like that, it's because I'm thinking about other things. I wouldn't normally do that in a, you know, forget in a, in a fight. You can sometimes get the power plant off pythons. Um, the lower the rank they are, the easier it seems to be. But the elite ones, so they've perfected this boost turn and they just point at you all the time. It's, and if, if you can only shoot them from the front, you won't get their power plant. The Clipper's power plant is right at the back, so you can get that one from from uh, from directly behind. But a Python, you've got to be on, you know, like... Are you going for him? No, it's a different one. It's a shame. Still, they might come back. Federal gunship, now we need to check him for a... Uh, uh, oops, wrong button. Oh, I haven't scanned him yet. So, oh, it's just heat sinked. Right, try again. So, no, um, no fighter. So I've targeted his power plant. Let's just get in a bit closer. So it's towards the back there. Here he goes pointing towards me just when I'm trying to get behind him, as they always do. Here we go. Down thrust. Oh, it went just as I got there. <laughs> so ramming's quite a good uh, tactic. Normally you need like four pips to, to shield, but it doesn't work so well when they're running away from you because you don't get a good closing speed. Remember what I said at the beginning, picking your targets, you know, is quite important and it, it'll take you a while to learn what they are. You know, obviously never touch a wing of three if the police aren't involved and um, always check the gunships and ganacondas crates and crusaders in case they've got a, a fighter so the the big slower ships the gunships and anacondas it used to work on all of them even asps you could take out their power plants dead easy but as i said they've changed they changed their behavior now it's quite tricky uh, just practice that. So use the thrust, particularly the down thrust, boost and down thrust, boost and side thrust to get around them. When they point at you, if they're coming at you with everything blazing, try and get on their flank and down thrust rather than, um, you know, like stay at the same angle as them. Because uh, you can, they can't... Um, yaw as quickly as they can roll so another technique is the strategic ram so you want four pips to shields when you do it and so uh, you'll notice i've knocked his shields down quite a bit i'm probably going to knock my own down so I'll see if i can do another one 
I nearly got his shields off a line there. It, it works when you've got strong shields. And you notice it's not fighting back. And um, so when you've got a uh, ship with strong shields but weak weapons, it's a good way of uh, knocking them down before you start. You can knock their shields right offline. And um, I, uh, I do that on big anacondas a lot, you know, when I'm in a... Uh, proper combat ship. The, the strategic ram is also a, a really good technique regardless of what ship you're in. When um, your opponent has shield cell banks, what they do is they, they recharge their shields and you'll be fighting a python or an anaconda, fair de lance, something like that. And um, it, you'll get your shields down to like one ring and then it then it'll start to go a bit dim the next thing you know his shields like just charge all the way back up to three rings again that's because he's using uh shield cell banks to recharge them the um the way to deal with that is that when they get down to the one ring you ram them and then give them everything you got you know like maximum blast from weapons they, they won't respond to the ram, but um, obviously they will respond to the, the weapon, so um, be ready for that. And, and once you've knocked their shields offline, they can't use the shield cell banks. They only work when you've already got shields going. So um, that gives you a chance then to like get them right down before their shields come back. If their shields come back again, uh, you're going to have to ram again. It's really infuriating because they time it to perfection. Um, every time they wait until until their uh, shields are right down, and then they get do it just in the right time, and it makes a battle take a very long time. There's the flight assist off. Just makes you, you turn quicker. Here we go again. Flight assist off. And he's straight back. So there's my flight assist off. There's a flight assist off. He, he actually went back over my head. It looks like he, he sort of stayed in front, but I was going backwards. There you go. That's it again. Right, so let's summarise where we've got up to. Um, just going to go back a little bit. So in the uh, Diamondback Scout... Uh, we learned to use pips. That's the most important um, thing you need to get right in combat. Um, so just keep practicing, practicing, practicing it. As the combat gets more intense, you need more and more pip management. So, um, you know, it wasn't too bad in the diamond back because we weren't getting shot much. The police were helping a lot. And to an extent, the same with a vulture. When you go into one-in-one -in -one battles, you need to do it even more. So don't try and advance too quickly. You know, just concentrate on practicing one step at a time. So the first one is your pit management. The next one is putting the throttle in the blue zone when you want to turn fast. Now, that's not the panacea for all fast turning. I've seen some videos where people just leave the throttle in the blue zone and just fly around it with it like that all the time while they shoot ships. That's not the way to do it at all. Just use the blue zone when you need to turn fast. Other times, especially in the vault, you need to be extremely active on the throttle, forwards, backwards, 
uh, everything like that. Flying backwards is really good. You know, if you've got your chaff going and you've got a smaller ship uh, or even a big one coming at you all the time, just back up chaff and uh, you can shoot him as much as you like. Uh, obviously, if he's got gimbaled weapons, so keep an eye on your shields, just make sure they, they're not going down. Um, next thing, as we moved into the Vulture, we then started practicing using the side-to-side -side thrusters and the up-and-down thrusters to get uh, a little bit better positioning. And then adding boost to that to do boost turns. So... Uh, boosting to the side, boosting up and down to rotate around the enemy ship so you can get him from a, a different angle. Then was the strategic ram, uh, which works when they've got shield cell banks. So you get them when they've got one ring of shields, then ram them and shoot them as much as you can before they get a chance to use the next uh, shield cell. It also works if you've got any shield tank ship, you know, with really strong shields, you can, um, the the bad guys often come and try and scan you. So they'll come face to face. So you ram them and um, knock their, them down much more than the damage you get to, to you. They'll turn around and come back and try and scan you again because it breaks the scan when you ram them. So they line up again, you ram them again, and you can ram them till they got like 30% hull and they won't even shoot back. And then uh, what you do, you just open up with everything. And uh, if you've got any shields left, give them a final ram to finish them off. But you must shoot first to get the bounty. If you ram them to death, you kill them, but you don't get the bounty. But um, the other way round, if you ram an innocent ship and kill it, uh, you get a bounty on you still. So uh, watch out for that. Uh, the next thing was the flight assist off turn. Again, the... Uh, Actually, if you learn to fly flight assist off all the time, it is arguably much better. Uh, it's up to you whether you do that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go through all that. But um, just using it strategically is really good. Hopefully, you could see a bit of that. Timing is critical, and it works really well when a ship's coming at you, not directly, but at a slight angle. If he's heading up over your head or to down below you, towards you, or towards you to the left or right, you need to uh, click that flight assist off just at the right time. And as you, you can just keep pointing at it as it drifts past and shooting it all the time. And you, it'll still be back in your sights, uh, you know, when it's gone past you. Um, if you do it too early, it's difficult to keep your, uh, keep on the target. Uh, your trip drifts about a bit more. If you do it too late, obviously you don't keep up with it. So you need to practice that, just toggling it just at the right time. It's really satisfying when you get it right. Um, so, and that, that's much more important in slow ships, like um, well, any of the big ships, but also the Fair de Lance has got a fair bit of drift on it. So uh, that's it for this video. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to get 1.75 times much more bounty money. Uh, there's a couple of little things you can do, so you can progress. If you want, if you do if bounty money, bounty hunting for money, you can progress much quicker. Uh, and that will get you to your um, 110 million when um, the logical next ship will be the Fair de Lance, like I've just got now. And that's a really good combat ship. It takes a bit of practice to get used to. A lot of people, the first time they get in it, they think it's a waste of time. You know, it seems to be all over the place. But it doesn't take you long to get used to it. And then it's a really deadly ship. The best res, res ship there is, I think, because it's so fast. And um, what you want to do at that stage, I think, is then go and do your engineering. to get At least to get your power plant, your... Uh, um, power distributor and um, things like that s sorted. You might want a bit of frame shift drive because of Fair de Lance, it's got terrible jump range. But now that we've got ship transfer, what do I do? I just jump in a, a ship with some decent jump range, go where I want, and then call the FDL over. Uh, you've got plenty of money now, so that's not an issue, the cost. So, uh, 
I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed that. And so, uh, yeah, just uh, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I always do my best to answer them.